Uh, greetings, everyone. My name is Ostad Toba. Today, I would like to present you our research system for teaching properties brushing techniques using six degree of freedom marker post estimation and machine learning methods. This collaborative study was conducted by myself alongside with Mitofa Desuk and Tatiana Mosenkova. So the problem. Uh, all cavity diseases pose a considerable health burden globally, presenting a significant challenge for countries in population worldwide. While taking insufficient oil hygiene is uh, pretty straightforward, uh, pinpointing and correcting improper uh, hygiene habits is quite challenging. Thus, the development of systems that will educate uh, individuals on proper oral hygiene practices is required as a strategy to mitigate the uh, spread of all cavity diseases. Uh, recently, the scientific community has, is increasingly focused on utilizing technological solution for this problem. Uh, solution developed for teaching oral hygiene uh, primarily employ uh, the approaches that you can see on the slide. So the traditional one or sensor based uh, involves a creation of the smart uh, toothbrush, which utilizes uh, IMU sensor to enable accurate um, pose uh, estimation and uh, gesture recognition. Uh, additionally, the smart to brush may incorporate other sensors, for example, an acoustic module to uh, detect brushing strokes. Another approach is to use augmented reality uh, where a sensor is replaced with a fiducial marker, uh, which is used for basically the, the same functionality. Alternatively, our research uh, our researchers also uh, propose um, using multiple camera setups with a depth sensor that allows for a greater uh, movement and gesture recognition, um, like using uh, Microsoft Connect, for example. Uh, lastly, uh, there is a very novel approach uh, that is um, uh, is not well researched yet, uh, which involves using uh, virtual reality technology. Uh, this method uses immersive VR environment to educate users on proper oral hygiene techniques, providing uh, an engaging learning experience. So as for advantages, um, the IMU-based approach is the most well-researched one. Uh, it has very uh, high accuracy in uh, gesture detections and pose estimation and it is widespread adopted in commercial applications. Also, uh, also main advantage of uh, using a sensor-based approach is that it's uh, mostly independent of environmental conditions. As for ER-based and VR-based, they offer um, somewhat similar accuracy uh, and um, they have very um, high level of uh, immersion, which is generally particularly good for a uh, younger audience, such as children. As for the disadvantages, uh, many researchers uh, use, uh, use um, high quality sensors, but uh, in reality, uh, you would probably use a MAMS technology because it's uh, cost efficient, uh, thus, um, since MAMS technology um, has a problem with uh, um, accuracy uh, of its data, uh, it will require additional significant computational resources uh, to achieve somewhat similar performance to high quality components. Uh, also, uh, VR-based approaches uh, as well as IMU approaches are very cost ineffective specifically VR approaches because headsets are very expensive and not that very common. As for the um, augmented reality approaches, um, some of them uh, where only one marker is used, for example, provide very low uh, post estimation accuracy. Thus, uh, we would like to propose uh, our solution. Uh, in general, uh, Proposed software system should function as follows. So user selects a specific to brush and technique that he wants to learn. The system provides some visual instructions for the individual. Uh, it tracks the position of uh, his uh, movements in the real time. And then it evaluates the user action and provides some accommodation for uh, uh, enhancing his performance, uh, his or her performance. So from this standpoint, there are several um, tasks that we uh, should solve. 
for example, capture how to capture video stream, how to recognize human face, how to determine position of the toothbrush, how to recognize brushing areas or um, uh, brushing uh, movements, uh, gestures, techniques, how uh, and uh, how to evaluate user proficiency in executing specific um, toothbrushing technique. Thus, we would like to prefer to propose uh, a system which comprises of five distinct modules. Each of them um, is designed to solve uh, the aforementioned problems. They are interchangeable, which uh, facilitating the easy substitution uh, of uh, one implementation if needed. Uh, and uh, also, each model operates uh, concurrently. Um, this will give us um, very high performance and uh, uh, responsiveness of the system. And also, our proposed architecture is very versatile and can be applied universally to similar application types uh, and um, irrespective of the platform. So you can use our architecture uh, with the mobile app, with the web app, or a PC. Um, as for the face detection module, um, face recognition serves as a primary function to verify if a person is visible and uh, looking directly into the camera frame. It ensures that uh, the system will not commence or resume training where, uh, when no person is present in the frame. Uh, it's more quality of life feature, but the main reason why we added the face recognition module is to a guarantee the accurate detection of brush cleaning areas. So for the object detection module implementation, we used uh, CNN, specifically a single stage detector YOLO. Uh, we trained the model using uh, annotated open data set, which uh, uh, consists of 1,280 images. As for the uh, pose estimation of tooth brush, um, we employed a marker-based approach uh, simply because it offers um, pretty much um, high accuracy, excellent real-time performance, and it is very cost-effective and robust. Uh, the main downside is that it's very dependent on the uh, environment and on, um, uh, on the camera that you have. Uh, to uh, determine the most suitable marker library for our project requirements, we conduct a series of experiments. So these experiments focused on um, such things as maximum title uh, angle, uh, the detection speed of marker, occlusion resistance, and detection rate at different distances with different uh, marker sizes. Ultimately, we decided to go with an RU core uh, markers simply because uh, of their uh, of its superior detection rate and optimal performance compared to other markers. The marker size was um, determined through range testing. And as for the uh, placement fabric, we adopted uh, the decahedron design simply because it's, uh, it is very robust and uh, it gives the most precise post estimation when using multiple marker approach. And uh, it's significantly reducing ambiguity uh, in uh, PNP problem. And also, given the real-time nature of uh, our system, uh, which is characterized by swift movements, we implement a linear uh, Kalman filter to reduce uh, the noise. This uh, ensures that, um, uh, that we will have more accurate and smooth tracking of uh, toothbrush position, which allows us um, to better know what um, gesture uh, user performs. Um, as for experiments and setup, um, we performed a uh, um, bunch of experiments to, um, to ensure um, uh, to evaluate uh, each of our system submodules. So um, we evaluated face detection accuracy and precision based on the following metrics, uh, two positive, two negative, false positive, false negative precision recalled, average precision and F1 score. We also uh, evaluated post estimation accuracy uh, by performing uh, experiment, uh, which involves moving a toothbrush incrementally in each plane direction on uh, a paper grid by five centimeters uh, with uh, X and Y coordinates. 
uh, while maintaining the camera position at uh, a fixed Z coordinate of one meter. Uh, also, we tried uh, we evaluated the usage of uh, Kalman filter on bad post uh, rejection and noise reduction. Um, so here we um, performed the following experience: steady movement along of the uh, toothbrush along the x-axis in one direction, steady movement along x-axis in both direction, and steady movement along the x-axis with a macro inclusion. Um, to ensure that uh, we have um, not laboratory conditions, uh, but a condition as close as a real one, we used an um, uh, off-shelf uh, camera with uh, an HD resolution, uh, which can get us 30, stable 30 FPS. Uh, although we um, disabled uh, after focus and after exposure, uh, to mitigate a uh, rolling shutter issue. Uh, as for the results, um, when using uh, YOLO um, 8, more, 8 version, um, we uh, got, uh, and when we trained our model, we got average precision uh, of uh, 0 0.99993, inference time of uh, 20, Eight uh, that three milliseconds and uh, F1 score is uh, zero dot uh, nine thousand seven hundred thirty three uh, thirty six. As for the post estimation accuracy, uh, based on our experimental outcomes, we can um, we can uh, say that the average accuracy of post estimation for each uh, for each of axes is uh, as follows. So X Axis is 93.5%. Um, y axis is 93.2%, and Z axis is 96.9%. Uh, gives, uh, gives us 96.9% um, uh, accuracy. Um, as for the Kalman's filter usage, so uh, Upon the Kalman filter usage, the pose maintains a relatively stable trajectory, uh, which mitigates the um, adverse effects of um, noise-induced fluctu uh, fluctuations in our system, um, which is a very crucial part. And also with the integration of Kalman's filter into our approach, as the system remains capable of um, getting the state uh, of a marker's location uh, during occluded intervals. Uh, which uh, demonstrate the algorithm's efficiency in uh, um, addressing occlusion challenges, which yields optimal estimation, even despite the absence of direct post data. So in conclusion, the paper uh, proposed a novel approach uh, to synthesizing software system for teaching toothbrushing techniques using augmented reality and machine learning methods to monitor toothbrush movements uh, recognize cleaning gestures and analyze and evaluating the user performance. Um, the optimal markers type, size, and brightness condition um, in, has, have been described in the paper. Um, Calmel filtering uh, for suppressing noise introduced by camera imperfection and swift to brush movements uh, was all, is also described in the paper. As for our future work, uh, it, it, the future work implies that the data fusion of the obtained results with IMU data and gesture recognition. And also here you can see uh, the um, uh, prototype of uh, our, our system. Um, thank you for your attention.